that was like that was just unnecessary and already was you already was rapping good bro it's not like the fucking bar fucking changed the world it was to it I mean, was intentionally put me in a position why does it have to put me in that kind of a position bro if you, listen if you want me to be honest if you want me to be honest royce please i just i like the rock him bar i just want to use the aftermath rock him bar that's that's the literal reason why i use that whole thing on my son's life i wanted to just flip rock him in the aftermath and it worked that's literally why, bro. All jokes aside, that's literally why I did that. So if you take that as a diss and you felt like that's more than what it was and it's on your name, my fault. But for real, like I just did it because of the Rock Him aftermath. That's literally why I did it. Literally. Y'all niggas are crazy, bro. Y'all, boy. Y'all, boy. Hey, y'all. Y'all crazy, and it ain't happening to y'all. That's what it is. People in the comments calling me a crybaby. I can't even express how I feel. You know how much? <laughs> I go way more therapy than you niggas. I'm way better at expressing myself than you niggas. I can tell y'all don't go to therapy. I can tell y'all don't. We had, motherfucking, we had a motherfucking ten minute conversation where I I wasn't hollering, but I I definitely I definitely was intentional with letting you know how I felt about that. And how I felt about my name being associated with shit like that. And it was just like, you just went there. You went there with that particular thing. And now, you know, you're going to tell me some rapper shit. You wanted to set up, wanted to set up a line. So now I got to understand it because I know how it is to set up a line. But damn, it ain't happening to y'all. Royce. Royce, you told me, you told me the Sunship Bar was intentional for me. You Mickey, 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 you asked me, you asked me, was I thinking about you when I wrote the bar? I told you I wasn't thinking about you when I wrote the bar, but you can have, or you can have it since you asked him. That's what I said. So, so there's a very big difference between having a nigga's son in mind when you write a bar to saying, nigga, you can just have that for the competitive spirit of rapping. Let's not act like we don't, we don't both understand clearly what we're saying right now. You can't use that line as an excuse for anything. That line wasn't necessarily aimed at anybody. It's fucking hyperbole. And you're talking to somebody who don't I have no problem telling you anything I was thinking when I'm writing the line. I have pride myself on not having no reason to lie to any human being about anything, including my fucking wife. That's one of my things that I that I pride myself on. So yeah, I'm not writing no bars thinking about your son i mean i know you fucking i know you told me you had a son but i don't fucking think about you having no son man i'm writing raps thinking about if you got a son i don't write raps thinking about nobody's fucking son it's hyperbole it's lines you kidding me y'all gonna just keep taking that line and use it as an excuse to like do really fucking wicked shit that's that like i said voice i had something written that was not not like some lambda shit, but it was it was it was some smooth shit. But that's that part, and then the rest of the conversation is what is why we here, bro. I'm I'm, I'm that's that's from my standpoint. Okay, well, just say you was upset and you went in there and you overdid, or you overshot on a couple on a couple parts. Please don't make me feel like I'm losing my mind. You can't say you can't say like a large a large part of the reason why. You probably accepted what I was saying on that live the way that you did. It was received the way that it was. It was just due to the energy that shit had got taken to. So it's like now, now I couldn't even be sar sarcastic, and I should have probably, I should have probably read that and got out in front of that, because I can be sarcastic and keep a straight face. And I really was sitting here wondering why the fuck you were sitting on here so long, listening, answering all my questions. We were sitting here laughing. But not one minute was I sitting here thinking to myself, oh, man, I just want to fucking put this nigga Mickey in a position. I just want to. I'm the nigga who initiated the narrative, bro. It was so everybody could benefit off of it. You the one who dropped the most records. I dropped the most records. Yeah, during, during this whole process. I dropped two records because I had that stuff set up with Blue months ago. Well, listen, you don't have to like, you don't have to like follow that back with letting me know how many, nigga. I don't, I want you to drop a lot of records. That was the whole purpose of it. That's why I supported all of them. 
it wasn't it wasn't for, it wasn't intended for me to like thrive in any way or use y'all as some sort of stepping stone to to um to do some shit privately or some shit like that like yo bro i this whole pandemic i've i'm one of the only rappers who hasn't tried to sell anybody anything i haven't promoted anything to anybody the only thing that i've asked people to pay attention to are things that i've been giving rather it be charitable donations or something that i'm doing with my foundation in the mental health space i've not asked anybody to buy anything bro lupe i called said let's do the podcast because I thought we can get together and do something fun. And I was correct in my assumption. But not once was I looking at Lupe as somebody who I can fucking gain something from. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Y'all get y'all can't y'all can't think that I'm sitting around looking at niggas like that, bro. And I ain't trying to like, I think the world of myself. I ain't trying to place myself above nobody or nothing. But if I want to just go fucking use somebody who I feel like can really do something for me, I just fucking call the white boy. If I'ma just, if I'ma just, I might as well go be all the way intentional. Lupe Fiasco podcast don't fucking do that. Don't do nothing for me, bro. I had fun doing it because I like the friendship. I have no intention or motive. I understand that that's what a lot of rappers be on, dog, but I'm not on that type of time. So my thing is, unless a motherfucker show me, show me that card, I don't treat a person like that. Motherfuckers ain't guilty till proven innocent. You know what I mean? And if it's like, that's how niggas is going to be, you know, like the shit can be reciprocated if that's how we going to treat each other. But y'all niggas ain't going to treat me like I just got to sit around and just understand the way to understand the way everybody feeling and everybody act like I'm out my motherfucking mind when I got something to say. Y'all niggas went on a diss frenzy. I'm from I'm from I'm from the Bronx. I'm from New York, man. This 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 is how we do. That's how we do hip hop and rap, my nigga. OK, well, cool. Cool. Mickey facts. I uh, think you're forgetting where the fuck I'm from. You from a Detroit, nigga. Right. So it's like my problem, my problem ain't necessarily with your energy. My problem is my problem is what I think, what I, how I think niggas is going to accept the energy in return. Because because I could give I could give niggas that energy back if it's just about you being from the Bronx. Yeah, that's all it is for me. This is hip hop. This is hip hop. This is hip hop to me. I have I have I have no ill feelings towards you. None. I just still think you a legend. Still give you a fly, but you're still incredible to me. Like this is hip hop, my nigga. That's that's all the shit is. It was never no beef. Not with me. Never. You wanted me to prove it. So in my mind, from a New York nigga, this is how I prove it. Nikki, I ain't I never heard you. I ain't never heard you motherfucking get in that bag with nobody before. I got in that bag with Joe. And he ignored the shit. What you say about Joe? Oh my God! I tore Joe up, and he 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 gonna act like I didn't. That's no, it ain't it ain't it ain't about tearing Joe up. What you say in it? You said where did I say it? What you say in it? What kind of shit was you saying in it? <sighs> I'm pretty sure you rap well in it. I want to know what you said in it. Light skinned nigga back in his crappy feelings. Ironically, it was over a fact's opinion. Notice the talent of cope with the silence. Drake ain't responding like a bitch. You got emotion to add it. Guess it's me who got to show you the talent. I was mellow to the bullshit weighed in. Guess who rose to the challenge? Fly guy. I can't remember all of it, but I had shit about the consequence shit. I had a shit about the Wu-Tang shit. I had shit about Tahiri. I had shit about everything. Everything, my nigga. Everything. Cause I'm a I'm a New York nigga. I'm a Bronx nigga. This is what this is what the East Coast. This is what we do. Every time Joe stepped out, he was intentional and he was like, "Yo, this is how I'ma do it. I'ma I'ma go at Saigon like this. I'ma go at Prodigy like this. I'ma go at this nigga like." Yeah, yeah, Mickey, Mickey. That's not you. You you going at niggas and rapping is not a problem, bro. That's not a problem. You can rap all day, nigga. I'm gonna I'm gonna always support. I'm gonna always support that. Now you mean to tell me? You mean to tell me that we need to we need to search and find the sweet spot of each other's respect and boundary line? Because I tell you, since you're using Joe as an example, Joe overstepped his boundaries plenty of times. Are you forgetting how many fires I had to go behind Joe and put out because I, I, he didn't understand I, I, the ramifications of his words? No, I understand that. I understand. Because he decided he wanted to be a rapper and talk about people who wasn't necessarily trying to receive that energy like he was like he meant to send it and he didn't understand what he was doing. And he had to apologize to niggas and he had to learn that he has to be careful 
when he uses other rappers' names, man. Like, you know, he it's like Meth felt like he played with his legacy. Joe's wasn't in, that wasn't Joe's intention. But they felt like nigga was playing with the Wu Tang legacy. Nigga Slaughterhouse was hot at that time and it just wasn't the right thing to do. I understood what he was where he was coming from, but I didn't like I didn't like the fact that he did that. And I had to roll with him because that's my brother and that's what I'm gonna do. But I made sure I was very intentional with trying to clear it up. Because they needed to understand how important that they are to us. Because I know Joe ain't got really no disparaging feelings toward them niggas. He was just talking too candid publicly. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's an important thing. That's very important. Respect is a is the caveat for me. If niggas could be respectful, man, we could fucking rap all day. Y'all niggas could come to heaven, nigga. I'll fucking buy y'all plane tickets. I love this type of shit. I just don't like disrespect. I just don't like bad energy. I just don't like my name being on YouTube with beef next to it. I just don't like niggas feeling like, people feeling like we bickering back and forth with each other. Over what, man? You know what I mean? All right, Lupe, Lupe lost his cool, he lost his temper. He pivoted away, he took his ball and went home. All right, cool. We should have went back to fun. And when niggas hear niggas rapping, niggas hear niggas rapping as good as you rapped on that song, motherfucker don't want to hear nothing I'm talking about. They just want to hear niggas rap. But it's like, goddamn, man, it's got to be inspiring. I want to motherfucking feel good about it. I don't want to feel like I'm dealing with some energy that was intended for me that ain't nobody owning up to, that I don't know how to respond to. That's a weird position to be in. What the fuck did I do to deserve that? I don't sneak this, bro. I don't got to sneak this nobody, bro. I never ask niggas or, re or, or, or expect anything from niggas and I'm not 100% willing to reciprocate in return. I'm not fucked up like that. I don't require much. I'm not a hard nigga to talk to or build a relationship with. Unless a motherfucker just wants shit his way. And I understand that too. We can agree to disagree. But the foundational portion of that is let's just not disrespect each other. Yelling at each other, cussing at each other, addressing each other with niggas shirt off. What the fuck, nigga? I told you I wasn't I'm trying to trying to battle, but you're gonna make a motherfucking goddamn fool out of yourself and get yourself on that stage. I'm a motherfucking demon. Like what? My nigga, why are you talking to me like that? And what the hell? Who you been talking to where you think that I got something to do with this energy? I didn't initiate that conversation. Lupe Fiasco. You assume it. And once again, I'm guilty to proving innocent. Motherfucker still ain't admitted that he was out of line. You know why? Oh, because you called me a bitch. And then the bully words start coming back in. Now, now I'm me, uh, me is being weaponized against me. Oh, you can't call the big bully Royce. He called you a bitch. You can't say nothing back. That's narrative shifting, bro. I got to look at your intent. I got to look at the intent behind that when niggas do that. Narrative shifting. And if he got a nigga like you who just, y'all niggas so close where he could do no wrong, and you just sitting there agreeing with him, and I'm looking at it like, well, goddamn. It's going to be a little weird. Because I got somebody, I got niggas who will just agree with me too. Visha, Visha will agree with me all day. All day. All day long. All day. Visha will sit and agree with me all day. When do all you, day. when do you, when do, when do you, you'll never see him until shit has then went too far. All day. But I've had conversations. I had to have a conversation with, with, with Bishop this morning. I was like, I get it. I get it. That's your man. You got to agree with him. You got to agree with him. But, you know, again, my energy is from my energy. And what I did on that record is, is me being a Bronx nigga, a Bronx nigga who just rhyme and rhyme, and rhyme and rhyme. And, 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 and if, if I'm called out, this is, how, this is how I come with it. That's how I come with it. You know what I mean? I was in, I did the same shit with Joe. On that live, I was like, all right, this is, if this is the energy that this is, you know, niggas is little boy in me, just, I felt like I was discredited. So I was like, all right, well, let's, 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 let's go, let's go here. Let's go, let's go here then. Okay. You felt like you were discredited. You feel like you wasn't getting your props from the, from the sarcastic niggas. That's cool. Cool. Go rap. I don't know how that constitutes the disrespect. Maybe we just got a different way of viewing what disrespect is. There's people in the comments like, oh, disrespectful, disrespectful, what the fuck? No, I'm not saying 
make a respectful diss record. I'm saying don't disrespect me in the diss record. It's not, it's, it's not consistent with the conversations we've been having. It's off-putting for me. That's what I'm saying. I'm not trying to tell you. I'm, trying, I'm not trying to pick your words for you or tell you and you can't say. I think it's pretty up to know what's, what's going a little too crazy and what ain't. Yeah. Unless, unless it's just a nigga who you just who just on the opposite end of what you the juxtaposed version like it's just a nigga that's on the other team. You I mean, think listen, I'm on the opposite team from you? You think I'm on some team that's against you? No. It, it, listen, I, it, it, from my perspective, it's, it's shit that I'm just not gonna say to Royce, right? It's just shit that I'm just not gonna say. I'm not gonna put down on paper because in my mind, this shit right here is disrespectful. I'm not going to bring up certain things because that shit is disrespectful. I'm not going to do stuff like that, right? So when I wrote that Cassidy line, I didn't, I didn't take it as it was disrespecting you. But you're, you, you're saying it was disrespectful for you, right? So for me, I'm, I'm letting you know while we're, on the, while we're on the live. When I was on that live, I stayed on the live because I fuck with you. And I and 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 I admire what you do. So yeah, I, I enjoy that conversation with you, my nigga. So I'm gonna sit here and I'm a, I'm gonna fuck with you, cause it's Royce. I fuck with Royce. I want to hear what you got to say, even if you are questioning me. That's that's what's up. And I answered every question, but I did feel away, my nigga. I did. It's okay to feel away. That's cool. I don't mind you feeling away. It's just the action. It's just the action that you put with your words, along with everything else that's going on. I don't really, you know, we niggas can feel a way about a lot of things. We can agree to disagree on things. We could, like, you know, what works for you with one thing may not work for me for another thing. You talk about the Lux freestyle. I think the Lux freestyle is great. I don't look at, the, at it the same way as you. Not like I'm trying to say nothing bad about Lux. You know what I mean? Right. I chose to fuck with you because I feel like you and Lupe have been coming together to fuck with me. So especially when Joe got on, we decided we was gonna fuck with you. But it seemed like y'all don't work as well in the hot seat as I do because you and Lou have been doing this the whole time. You will admit that? I've been trying my best to not fall into that trap. Oh, please. Lupe just did a live and said, y'all niggas plan to fucking jump me. <laughs> y'all niggas plan to jump me when I least suspect it. You I, niggas conspiring against me, man. I'm a, do I who, who I need to go get? Bro? Royce, 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 Royce. Is he just talking? Royce, 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 Royce. After we got off that live, let me tell you something. I kissed my wife on the on, on the forehead that morning, that Friday morning, and I ain't seen my wife till Saturday morning, my nigga. And you said that to say what? That that's that it wasn't it wasn't no jumping on my behalf. I got off that live, and and this is what this is what it's about. The very next day, that's what it was on. That's that's what I was on, bro. Cause I felt like y'all wasn't respecting my pen and what I do. <laughs> you felt like we wasn't respecting your pen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's how I felt. I, that's how I felt. You kept bringing up niggas that I worked with. You talking about Saha, that's my man. Every time Saha said, "Yo, I'm in New York. Who wanna rap?" I was the nigga. Yo, what's up? Where you at? I rap, nigga. What up? Where you at? That was me. I had that energy. That was me. So, what you mean? So that 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 was me. I was like, "What's up? We, 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 well, what, what, what's the what's your so point?" I don't. I, I have no. I have no. I have no fear for none of these niggas. None. Of, no, nobody. So who who told you you had fear? You had to be fearing somebody. Nah, because it, it, that's how I came across. That's how I came across. Like, yo, you not in the room with these niggas writing and it, come on, be like, I don't need to be in the room if I'm sending something back in two three hours. If I'm saying you, I'm saying you're not in the room with niggas right now. I, I ask you who you be, who do you be under just being in the room, forced to be in the room with the slaughter niggas. You know what I mean? So I was wondering, was you, have you ever been in those kinds of situations to where somebody really pushes you on the spot like that? That's why I was asking you those questions. I feel you. And it's been so many niggas, my nigga, that I forgot. So I hit you the very next day, like, oh shit, I forgot I was in the studio with Styles P. Styles P, let me tell you something, Styles did, he did five features that day. The locks was there. When it was time for me and him to work, he kicked everybody out the fucking room and it was just me and Styles in that room. He kicked 
everybody out the studio. He did five features with everybody in there. When it was time for me, he kicked everybody out the room. It was just me and him. So, <laughs> niggas, niggas is in the comments saying this is getting weird, but they saying me. I'm making it weird. I don't think you're making it weird. I don't think you're you making it weird, Mickey. I don't think you're making it weird, and I don't think I I'm think you're making it weird. How am I making it weird? Because you, it's like you, um, you telling me what I'm thinking. You telling me that I, I don't, I'm not giving you your props. Is this something that you need for me to articulate to you? No, 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 no. Let's be very, very clear, bro. Since 2016, you've gave me my props. Yeah. So what? 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 What, what, what makes you think that like, what? What happened? What transpired to make you? Do you think I changed my mind? I mean, I think. I think when when Joe got on that live, the shit, the energy just. My energy ain't shift. My energy was the same, the same way I still feel to this day. I feel like I feel like everybody, everybody that's having these conversations when we started them, everybody ain't all on the same level. Everybody ain't like a monolith as far as rapping like that. All of us have different layers and different, different amounts of years that we've been in the game. We got different paths that we chose. We got different skill sets that we just acquired due to the, just, just due to the straight up transition of our careers. You know what I mean? So at some point when we have some, some of the conversations that may need to get in perspective here and there, and it, 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 it'll be subjective. It'll be based off of somebody's opinion. It don't mean that I look down on you just because I don't view you the same way as I view black thought. I don't. I don't view my, I, I, listen, I, I've always said that I'm not in this, I'm not trying to be in this conversation, bro. I've said this millions of times, bro, that I don't care to be the best. I, I, I said this on, on, the, on the Patreon live with us, with all of us. I literally said from 2015 to 2018, that was how I was going and giving it up. Ever since after that day, I don't give a fuck about being the best or wanting to be in that category because because it's an, it's an impossible fucking metric system with there's so many fucking great MCs. How can I just be like, yo, I'm the I can't I can't wrap my head around it. That's just me. That's just me. I can't wrap my head around that shit. So it's like, yo, I don't. I don't want to be in that conversation anymore with Black Thought. I just want to do my shit and I want to admire Black Thought for what he does. I want to admire Elzai for what he does. I want to admire Fonte for what he does. Because these niggas is niggas that I, fuck with, that I fucking love. That's it. That's it for me. But that's so just what, you, me. What, what, what do you want from me, Mickey Fax? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanna go, what do you want from me, bro? Yo, like, what, man. What do, I, what do you want me to say? Yo, I'm just explaining my point, bro. That's it. I know, but I know, but I feel like I feel like that there's something from the last live that you think that I wasn't saying to you, or you felt like when Joe walked in, that I decided to switch the vibe on you, or I was trying to like withhold some props from you, or trying to not, or trying to downplay what you do, or something like that. What do you want me? What do you?